Susan Jordan. It was originally a two bedroom bungalow with a loft and the loft has been converted into these two rather funny little dwarf pipe rooms and the garage has been converted into a bedroom plus a utility room. We're on the outskirts of Ashburton, we're at this uh, detached dormer bungalow and we're going to do our energy audit this afternoon so uh, let's go inside and have a look. We're going around Ashburton, we're doing 12 energy audits uh, 10 of which are for domestic homes and two for community buildings. What we're trying to establish is by understanding the energy use within 10 homes, we can extrapolate that up throughout Ashburton and, and sort of um, in the area. So your property is sort of, you know, there's it's sort of a classic type of property for, for, uh, for a part of Ashburton and it's going to be really interesting to sort of see, you know, how and where your, your property uses energy and, and loses heat. Nice and thick. We could put some around the loft, the hatch here, because there's probably big drafts coming through from oh. this cold space here. So on the back of the on the back of the um, the, the wood board here. <laughs> Might not let you out. Here. We've had to block up the. Um, the cupboard spaces to the to the loft because the air trying to get in is so it's forcing them open. Is the fan going crazy? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. So it's really interesting just to sort of see where all this air is coming from. You can feel it whooshing down the stairs. Okay, so there's lots of interesting little stories in this property, and one of them is the freezer. Um, it's a really old freezer handed down from the homeowner's mum and we decided to put an energy monitor on it just to sort of see how much energy it's using and it's really interesting it's essentially using the equivalent of 950 kilowatt hours a year that's about that's about 100 pounds to run over a year for this little freezer now if that was upgraded to a, a new a rated freezer then maybe that would use 200 300 kilowatt hours a year about 30 pounds a year that's where the cavity wall company has drilled a hole filled it with insulation and then they've rendered over the top but they've done a really good job of matching the renders it's really hard to tell. Yeah. Your two Velux windows are they the same size? Okay, so we've just finished our energy audit here, and it's worth noting really, really good insulation levels. The cavity wall's filled, great loft insulation, and very new double glazing. But there are about three or four things that they can do to lower their energy use. Number one is draft proofing. A very drafty property, building fabric cracks, uh, draft proofing that's not there, basically very cheap to solve, and it would actually make a big difference to the property's heat loss. Number two, we pointed out the freezer, a very old freezer, changing that could save them in the order of about about 70 or 80 pounds a year and that would pay back in about one to two years. Thirdly, the thermostatic regulation is with an analogue thermostat and that can be changed to an electronic one which would be far more accurate. And finally, there are no radiator reflectors on all of the radiators on external walls and those should be put in at very little cost. Okay, so we've got 